Okay, here we go. First project. Let's uh, create this phone. Uh, case cover. So in non-shape, I'm going to create a document. I'm going to name it. Let's review. So in this environment, uh, you'll see that we have the view cube front, top, right. I can right click on my mouse to kind of drag around in here. And I can always click on these faces if I want to view it orthographically from front, orthographically from side, orthographically from top. Uh, and I can move the space around or I can even click this ISO view if I want to view it. There's a scroll wheel in the middle of the mouse is zoom in and out. This is our uh, tree. This will keep a history of everything we do. We can edit it at any time. Up here at the top, you got the 3D modeling tools. These are all ways to create 3D geometry. And um, so the first tool is like extrude, for example, extrude shapes up, rotate them around, sweep them through space, connect two odd shapes. So we're going to use all these. You'll explore them. Then we can put round edges on. We can put chamfered square edges on things. So we can do different stuff. Always start first with a sketch. Before you can create any 3D geometry anywhere, you have to start first with a sketch. And that's why sketch is first. So I click sketch. It says, what plane? I say on this case, it's ground plane, okay, top plane. And then just click on the top view. There we go. And then over here, I'm going to start with a center point rectangle. I click on the center. I drag out. I'm just going to drop it down. I don't really care what the dimensions are right now because I'm going to actually put those in. So I click on this side dimension, and I drop it down with a left click. And then you can see I type in whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to do an iPhone 13 Pro. All right, uh, and I'm going to type in dimensions. All right, so there we go. It gave me the dimensions right there. I have them all. These are in millimeters. I can actually, in inches, I can click that and get them in inches if I want to. Uh, the model will take either one, so I'll show you how to do that. But basically, I also want this image, so I'm going to uh, hit the uh, right-click on it and say open this image. Sorry, not address. Open this image in a new tab. It'll open it right here. Oh, that's not the right one. There it is, right here on this image. Uh, I'm going to uh, open in a new tab. Oops, try it again. Right click, open in a new tab. There it is. I'm going to come back to that, okay? But right now, uh, I want to hit escape because I'm going to copy this. Uh, so the you see it's got, uh, it's basically almost three inches wide by almost six inches tall. And uh, it's only 0.3 inches thick, okay? So I'll copy this one first. Control C on my keyboard or right click, copy. And over here, Control V, enter. It defaults to inches, so I don't have to put the units in. Here, uh, the other thing was the 2.82. Copy. Go back here. And again, with this dimension tool up here, I'm going to click, click, drop, paste. Enter. Uh, it doesn't want to, it doesn't recognize the uh, quote symbol as the inch. So I pick that off, it defaults to inches, it's good. I say yes, I highlight the profile, I extrude it up. So how far do I extrude it up? Well, over here you can see I can just type that in. I think uh, if we look back at the numbers, it was 0.3 inches. So I type in 0.3, enter. Now I need an image in the background of the phone to, to finish this. So that's where I'm gonna use this. But if I save as to try and upload it, it won't do the right format. It doesn't give me a JPEG format. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna hit right click and then right click and I wanna copy this and let me try it from over here. I'm gonna hit copy image. And then if we go to our drive, and then do the new, we've done this trick already. Go to a group drawing, paste it, and then 
click in here, I paste iPhone 13 image. Unfile, down, JPEG, nice. Okay, go back to go back to your um, unshaped model, and then hit this little plus symbol, and I can upload it and import it. And then there it is in my downloads. If I go to my download folder, you'll see it in there. Now it uploaded it, okay? So I can put it in the background. So I'm gonna do that by clicking clicking on this top plane, hit sketch, and then insert image. Over here, you'll see this little image, and next to it's an arrow. I drop that down and say insert image. And then I click on the image I wanna insert, and watch this. I'm gonna drag it out. Uh, it's a two, I'm gonna hit control Z because I didn't have it spaced correctly. There we go. Now I'm going to try this again. Insert image, click on it, I click above it a little bit, and you'll see I'm going to drag it out and just kind of eyeball it to match the uh, right shape. There it is. And then I'm going to move it into position. I think I can. Nope, that's right. And see how it actually is a little. Oh, oh, see, I missed it a little bit. I'm going to move it. There we go. That's pretty good. I can model to that now. I can make all my cutouts to it. I can finish the whole project with that cool image in the background. Right click over here. I'm going to right click and rename it. That sketch is actually going to be the phone image. Oops. <laughs> Control Z. Sorry. Over here. Right click. Rename. And then that first extrude, right click it, rename, and that was, call that length times width. Now, down here it poops everything out as far as 3D that we can use to 3D print and make stuff. And so this first one defaults to the part name. I'm going to name that phone body. There you go. And now, watch this. I can do two things and then I'll go to the next video. Let me finish up. Uh, I'm going to round the four corners. So I click carefully on each of the four corners at one time. And I'm just kind of scrolling around with the right mouse button and just clicking them all. There we are. One, two, three, four. You see it actually defaults to a certain size and you may have to change that. That can be tricky and on shape where sometimes you click on it and but hey, look at that. That's a perfect match to the image. I think it used AI tech to do that. Probably knew what I wanted to do. It's scary. Anyways, that's good. And then I'm happy with that. And then lastly, uh, before I finish modeling the phone body, I'm going to click around the very edge all the way around. So I click the top face like that. And it's way too much in this case. I'm going to type in 0 0.02. See what happens there when I click off of it. I'm much happier with that right there. I think that's more realistic to what the phones actually have. I click on the bottom face too to do it on both edges. Now, phone body's done and we're ready to start modeling the cover. And uh, you'll see that on the next video. Happy modeling.